back. It's day two here at the Farnborough Air Show. Today, the spotlight is on the defense modernization. We'll learn how to modernize defense ecosystems by integrating digital capabilities and new technologies. Ready? Let's find out. What is smart sustainment and why is it key for the industry? Smart sustainment is about addressing the key challenge that different system operators are facing today. Smart sustainment is really all about increasing the availability rate while controlling through life cost. I've read that NIOR is working closely with the US Department of Defense, right, uh, over the past years to create virtual twins of legacy aircraft. So can you tell us why is the Department of Defense investing in this? Primarily to support sustainability and operational readiness for, for the military. So we're looking at it from the side of the Army, from the Army ground and the Army aviation, and as well as with the Air Force. And do you see legacy aircraft, digital twins influencing like, you know, future defense uh, programs? Absolutely, and legacy fleets are always gonna be around, at least in my lifetime. So how to keep operational readiness of those legacy fleets is really a key. So I assume that you're leveraging the 3D screen platform to succeed in those programs. As you go in and look at an MRO operation, most of them are not digital. One of the things that with our deep history with Dassault is make that in a digital world. Thank you, John, it was great to have you. Whose problem is it to solve the diversity balance? So it's interesting you ask that, that I believe the cavalry is not coming. And actually, you know, if you think it's not your problem to solve, then perhaps we've got to think about how we behave and our job is to stretch our level of tolerance. Anything the nuclear industry can learn from aviation and defense. Early aerospace was all about experimentation and yes there were some tragedies that cost human lives but we learned from those tragedies and we learned how to engineer a better product. So from that I believe that nuclear can learn how to build a safe product but a product that's more commercially appealing, a product that becomes almost a commodity and can be built as wind power would be built for example or solar power. We can move nuclear into the same category of products where it's an attractive investment and it has the added benefit of providing energy security and low carbon energy generation. So, what's the story behind this mission? Yes, yeah, so in fact, in aerospace and defense, we need to uh, develop very complex system and very complex mission. So here in the platform, we have the definition of the mission. We have soldiers on the field of operation that needs to be uh, saved. So uh, this is a search and rescue with the Navy toll coming out of the frigate and he will fly to go and rescue the soldier. And uh, we need, in fact, to develop it the right way, so we need the right specification. And we will develop a successful system for our mission. Mm -hmm.